Hey there, and welcome to ProFlows number 42. I'm Cameron, and in this one, I'm gonna show you how to do some really easy depth of field with 3D layers inside of After Effects. So I've got a composition set up here. It's a 3D layer. You can see the checkbox is on right here. And here it is in our main composition. And down here below, I have another view set up, which is my top view, you can see right here. And if you don't know how to set that, you can just set it down here at the, at the very bottom, set it to top. And here's our layer, and here's our layer. Okay, so I've got two viewers just so it's easier to see what's going on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale this puppy down. It's a pretty large layer, so we'll go down to about 30%. Here you can see at the top view, here's our main view. And let's duplicate, let's actually call this foreground layer. Let's duplicate it, and let's call this background. And for the background layer, let's bring it to the bottom of the stacking order, hit P for position, and let's just take it back in Z space, 400 pixels. So you can see as I'm doing that, you can't see the difference here, but you can see in the top view, here it is. So I'm selecting it, bringing it over here to the right, selecting my foreground, bringing it over here to the left. So we've got two layers here in our composition, our main composition, and they're 3D layers, and they look like they're um, about on the same plane, but one looks slightly smaller, when in actuality, one is just pushed farther back in Z space. So I'm gonna go to Layer, New, Camera. And, and here's our camera. And I'm gonna select a 28 millimeter, enable depth of focus, click OK, and there we go. So not much has changed here in our main viewpoint viewport, but you can see here's our camera, okay? Now if I open up the camera here and I open up camera controls and I can see depth of field is on. So if I look at my top view, this is an easy way for me to tell what's gonna be in focus in my main composition. So I'm gonna bring my uh, cursor here in my timeline to one second. I'm gonna set a keyframe for focus distance. I'm gonna go to two seconds. And I'm gonna bring back this focus distance to this background layer so that it's in focus at this point. So I'm gonna drag it right there and boom, we're now in focus here. Now this background layer is now in focus, the foreground layer is out of focus, but it doesn't look like that's the case, even though depth of field is on. The trick here is to crank up your aperture. So we're set to 14.1732, that's the preset for 28 millimeters. If I start dragging this up, watch my layers, watch what happens. You can see the foreground starting to go out of focus, the background staying in focus. I'm gonna crank it way up here, something like 1200 pixels, and that looks pretty good. I could also increase the blur level here just a tad to give it a little bit more depth of field. Now, if I go back to my focus distance at one second, the foreground's in focus, the background's out of focus. Now one more quick tip here is to change your iris shape from fast rectangle. This is the default inside of After Effects. Change it to one of these presets down here to get a little bit nicer depth of field blur. The octagon or any of these presets are gonna take a little bit longer to render than fast rectangle, but they do look nicer. And there you go, there's our simple rack focus depth of field effect uh, inside of After Effects.